Hi there, I'm Nathalie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, I'm in the studio today, my very messy studio, and I'm so glad you're here. Anyway, I have been having fun making some very messy papers, and I have put these into, made them into journal covers. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Now, the idea came from a lady called Sanoki Art, and my base are these little chipboard things that came from the fabric uh, when I was making scrub caps. I saved these rather than throwing them away. I thought, well, they ought to be good for something. Anyway, so I have four of these that I've made, and they are available in my Etsy store. This one says, what appears to be the end is usually the start of a new beginning. This one is, it's the little things that uh, make life big. All these cute little dangles. And I have a video about how to make those. I'll put that in the description box below. This one says, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Hallelujah. And you are capable of becoming more than you realize. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I made the papers, some of the process. So don't go away. Well, my first step in this process was tearing up paper. Uh, jelly plate paper, marble paper, pieces of map, songbook pages, dictionary pages, book pages. Uh, I'm using Glimmer Mist, just kind of mist it on there. I have a couple of colors of that. And I even took the sprayer out and then just kind of sprinkled some of that around. You might want to cover up some of the area around you if you have trouble with messy stuff. This is pretty messy. It was just so, so much fun. Uh, and then the other thing I'm going to use is some Distress Spray Stain. A couple of different colors of that. I think it was like Vintage Photo and another one that was kind of in the brownish, goldish tones. And, and it made its own splatters. Just as, as I was, the way I was holding it, it would just make the splatters itself. Turn them all over so you can get stuff on all the sides. You know, and I'm not just like real persnickety about, th about this. Just, you know, just have fun. Just have, fun. this is just good, messy fun. And if you want to wear gloves, you could wear gloves. I, you know, probably the, I'm using some Ranger alcohol ink here. I used a couple of colors of alcohol ink. If I got that on my hands, I just used a little alcohol to just regular uh, isopropyl or rubbing alcohol and it came right off my fingers. So it wasn't a big, that wasn't a big deal. And just some plain old apple barrel acrylic. And I thinned it down real thin. And I have a fan brush that I'm going to use. But you can use any kind of a brush. You could use a toothbrush even if you wanted to. And splatter with that. I just like it because it's nice and opaque. The little spray stains are kind of uh, translucent. And sometimes you have to kind of keep the papers moving a little bit so that they don't stick together because... Not so much with the spray stains, but the acrylic. Oh, that's black. Just plain old black acrylic. Same thing. Apple barrel. Lots of water. Decided forget the brush. I'm just going to get in there with my fingers. Toss it around. If I got a fingerprint on there, oh well, there's evidence that it was me that made these things. And now some of the, I think it's Bamini blue. Just a turquoise blue. Just need another little pop of color in there. Whenever I saw these on Sunoki's, uh channel I just thought this is so cool I have just got to try this because I normally make my journal covers with like the paper towels that are left off left over from my tie-dye projects or my silk painting projects anyway and I'll put the link to some of those in the description box below too that tutorial so separate them all out so they don't stick together kind of give them let them dry a little bit just kind of scooching them around there's some really awesome papers in here. It's going to be hard to decide what do I want to use next. Decided to take a little, that's a thread spool, and it has three little circles on it. So just do a little stamping. Just put the little bit of paint in my plate and stamp, stamp, stamp. Just random. No rhyme or reason, no pattern to it, just here and there. And you could use any kind of shape that you want to. If you wanted to use like a regular rubber stamp, you could do that too. So I'm just taking one of my songbook pages and a glue stick and tearing up those pages, those papers that I just made. Oh, and that paper right there, that's from a National Geographic magazine that I used Citrusolve on years ago. Just had it left over, and it causes the ink to spread. It was kind of neat, kind of earthy looking. 
I'm trying not to put all of my colors together, you know, just and like lay in random floor tile or uh, snap lock vinyl. You you know you don't want all your joints to be at the same place. So kind of spread those out a little bit. And I like the torn edges. If you want cut edges, you can surely do that. So I'll put that torn edge up next to the other one. You could do all kinds of neat stuff with this. Uh, she made hearts out of hers, but I wanted to make journal covers with mine. So a few lights, a few darks, some brights, you know, just kind of mix it up. And then once it's good dry, I let it dry real good. And I used a, a water soluble pencil. You don't have to, you could just, I don't even know why I grabbed that pencil to do this with because I didn't need it to be water soluble. Anyway, I'm just gonna draw an outline around the journal covers. And so I kind of look and see what's underneath to see where do I want to place that? What am I, what's gonna show, you know, whether I want that little uh, cutout, which is where my strings go. Uh, do I want it this way or that way? <clears throat> then I'm going to cut these out and I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew around. You don't have to do that. You could just totally like sponge around the edges or uh, distress the edges. And I'm going to glue these down to those bases after I get them. And I didn't sew the sh show, the sewing machine part of it, but now I'm going to cut them out and then take them to my sewing machine. I showed you the stitches but not the process at the sewing machine. Changed out my needle to put an, uh, a, a needle that I don't use for my fine sewing and then just stitched around the edges. Now I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna glue this uh, using uh, matte gel to my cardboard, the little chipboard things. And then I'm gonna embellish them and I don't show the embellishing. Again, that's in another video and you can go over there and watch that. Again, it's in the description box below. I hope you have fun with this. Thank you for staying with me till the end of this uh, demonstration. Anyway, my, those journals are available in my Etsy store, my hall closet. You can find them there. And then also, uh, hey, be sure you like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.